Exercise. This is a continuation of the last one. In the last motion sensing exercise, we found that we can detect motion for the whole screen image through the webcam to trigger the playback using the zero and one trigger. And in this one, we try to find that whether we can single out a certain area on the screen such that you can just touch or, or wave in one particular area for the interaction rather than using the whole screen. And to start with, we also create the project. So we name it as touch002 for this one. Okay, and then we tidy up the screen. And similar to last one, we choose the technique of motion sense. And by default, the motion sense object will automatically open your webcam over here. And the same as the last one, we double click, enter into the motion sense, and find the video device in and inactivate it. And when we go back, so this stop. So instead, we choose our own video device in object and then send it to a flip in order to have the mirror image from this computer. So we flip horizontally in the x axis. So that will be something like this. So the next step is before we connect it back to the motion sense, we try to, for example, identify some area on the screen such that we just interact with that particular area. So to do this, we can just make use of the command we have learned before, that is the cropped. So cropping means you try to exert some part of the image and that part of the image you would like to interact with which we can use something like the cropping the left margin right margin and then the bottom margin and the top margin in order to isolate some area that you would like to interact with. So for example, this will be the image for my face in this posture. Okay, so if I send it to the motion sense, so the movement that kind of isolated in my face will have effect. But another area, for example, like the area that I'm waving my hand that may not have any effect in triggering the, the action. So we can also use the now chop to connect from the motion sense to display the trigger. And the second thing we like to do is we like to make use of this trigger to do something on the screen. So what we would like to do is we can build a square that is a rectangle from the top. And this rectangle will also put somewhere on the screen such that when my face kind of changing or moving around inside this rectangle we have that trigger okay so we change it to the screen side that is the custom resolution that we have 1280 by 720 at the same time we try to like modify 
the size rotation and then yes so this is the <coughs> preview of this square or rectangle in order to play around with this so we want to make use of our movement in order to change for example like the opacity of this square so in the very beginning we want it to be like transparent and then when I move and it turned into an opaque color of your choice so we'll proceed to create this one so the first one we're going to do is to define for example your border color so we can change for example like red and the alpha for the border is also one that is the solid and we cannot see the border yet because we have the default border width of zero and in order to make it visible we can make it a bigger value so in this case i choose pixel because i do not want for example by scaling the the square that i do not want to scale the border as well so i choose the pixel with for example like two pixel so that one will be with a border and at the same time i turn off the alpha of the square so you can only see the outline without the white background so the next step is I try to move the square around such that it is more or less, more or less kind of fit into the cropped area. So instead of doing the calculation, I just do it by changing the parameter manually. So in this case, I choose transform which I use to move the square around so for example if I change like 0.2 0.1 so we are moving the square in different location so how can we combine two of them and then such that we can see the square kind of lying on top of the camera image so we work on with the composite we take for example the original flipped image and also the square and then combine it and send it to the upper window okay and the way to combine the default one is multiply does not give you the ideal results so usually if we want to have this one either this is over or under so under will be the best one that keep this particular square on top of the background okay and then we're going to so we have Leave the preview here so that we can see it clearly. Okay, so the next step is we try to change this into either we can move this around to overlap my face or I can change the crop to kind of lie between somewhere over here in order to make the interaction with my hand okay so i take the second choice so i change the crop such that it's more or less fill in this particular square so the location is somewhere around here yes this is somewhere over here and then the bottom one is somewhere over here and the top one we don't see the edge 
of the top margin of the door so that would be like more or less the location of this square in the wheel space so that is something like this that would change the trigger by using my hand to wave in the virtual environment and the next step is we want this one to make some change to the graphics so the area we would like to make the change that we can go back here and the value of trigger is 0 and 1 and the value of the rectangle fill out is a number between 0 and 1 so it can also have something like open something to have the opacity so in that case we can drag this one and put it over here so in this case we can change the opacity to 0 to either 0 or 1 so I drag here and then in the field alpha I release and export the chop so that will be something like this and against this light background I can also change the field color to make it a little bit more obvious for the interaction so I change this into something a little bit blue and we can test in the output window and normally if there's no changes in this so you can see if my finger kind of moving around so that trigger the change and the last step is we test it in the perform window before we work with this one we do the same step again change the opening size to fill up the whole screen and remove the border so and then we save it put it somewhere over here and test so the testing can be pretty simple yes so using your finger and actually you can change the sensitivity by modifying the slider in the in the motion sense object so this is the one we can achieve by making this kind of like a virtual button that you can touch and interact with so this 